Happy Sabbath, children! Happy Sabbath too, Teacher Carla! Today, I'm going to read our Kindergarten Sabbath Study Guide. We are now at Lesson 2, and it is entitled, Best Friends. Who wants to read the memory verse? Yes, yes, Mark. The memory verse says, Jonathan loved David as himself. It is found in 1 Samuel 18, verse 3. Very good, Mark. Who wants to read the message? Yes, Lyra. The message says, true friends love each other. Very good, Lyra. Who is your best friend? What do you like to do together? David and Jonathan were best friends who loved each other. King Saul sent for David. Come and live in his palace. The king said, I want you to work for me and become a soldier. So David moved to the king's beautiful palace. David soon met King Saul's oldest son, Jonathan. David and Jonathan liked each other and became best friends. Let's go shoot arrows. Jonathan would often call to David. Let's go ride horses. David would often say to Jonathan. The people of Israel grew to love David too, and that made King Saul think that the people loved David more than they loved him. King Saul became so angry that he tried to kill David. Your father is trying to kill me, David told his friend Jonathan. This can't be true, Jonathan exclaimed. But it is, David insisted. Soon, a festival will begin and the king will expect me to be there. I'll go see my brothers. Two days after the festival, I will return and hide in the field. When your father sees that I am not at the festival dinner, tell him that I want to visit my family. If he gets very upset, you know that he is trying to kill me. All right, Jonathan answered. Hide by the stone pile in the field. If my father really is trying to hurt you, I will tell you. Here's my plan. Judge, I continued. I will shoot arrows over by the stone pile. Then I will send my servant boy to get the arrows. If I shout to the boy and say, Go farther, the arrows are ahead of you. Then you will know that my father really does want to kill you. And you need to run away to be safe. When King Saul sat down for the festival dinner that day, he saw that David's chair was empty, but he didn't say anything. The next day at dinner time, the king saw that David's chair was, em was still empty. He turned to Jonathan. Where's David? He asked. David went to visit his family during the festival. Jonathan answered. King Saul's face turned red with anger. Don't you think I know that you want David to be king? He screamed. Go get David so that I can kill him. Jonathan knew then that his father really wanted to do such a terrible thing. The next morning, Jonathan went to the field. He took, an, he took out an arrow, aimed it near the stone pile, and shot it. Jonathan's servant boy ran to find the arrow. Run farther! Jonathan called loudly. The arrow's ahead of you. When the boy came back, Jonathan sent him back to town. Then he and David said goodbye. We may not be able to see each other for a while, Jonathan said. But we will still be friends, he promised. Yes, we will be friends forever, said David. And they were. Now let's recite the memory verse with actions this time. Follow along. 
Jonathan loved Jonathan loved David David as himself as himself First Samuel 18 verse 3 First Samuel 18 verse 3 Thanks for watching and God bless Make sure to like subscribe and share this video with your friends. Bye!